What's up guys, my name is ENS Ferrero and welcome back to another tutorial. I know I've been gone for a while, but guess what? I'm, I'm back. back. Today, I'm gonna teach you guys how to do the flash effects in DaVinci Resolve. If you guys are new here, don't forget to subscribe to join the Ferrero Nation, hit that bell, and leave a meaningful comment down below. With that being said, Let's get right into it. Alright guys, welcome to my computer. I hope you guys are having a great day and staying safe in Florida from the hurricane. The Flash is one of my favorite superheroes of all time. I've always loved filmmaking and editing special effects because that's when I started making my Plotagon series and my first animated movie. So I've been using this software for months now, ever since my LIGO DC Super Villains Part 2 video. The experience I have with the software is pretty awesome. And the best part is it doesn't have any render problems and you can just clear your render cache in no time. It's just perfect. I just recommend using this awesome software which i'm going to show you that in a minute so before we get into the flash effects i'm going to teach you the basics of editing the software before we get started with these effects so what we're going to do is we're going to new project entitled project which i click it double times you got to go to file project settings and turn the timeline frame rate to 60 fps unless if your computer doesn't want 60 fps or 4k i recommend you choose uh 30 fps or 25 but for my end i'm just gonna stick to 60 frames per second 1080p you click save now we're going to drag our clip into the timeline so you click finder you go to your card right here and that is where we find our clip for this tutorial there it is all right let's click on it and let's take a review of it nice so once the clip is selected you click that and you drag it all the way down here don't change frame rate and you're officially good to go so now we need to find our empty shot so you need to drag that marker right over there for the empty shot you click that clip Press the B button to transform into a blade, click that, and tap delete. And now we're going to drag that clip all the way there. So we're going to select it and drag it all the way there to the beginning of the timeline. Now if your clip is starting to get some hissing noise, all you got to do is go to audio effects and type in noise reduction. You drag that at the bottom right there. Click in audio speech mode and you can mess around with these buttons to get those results. We're going to select that clip and we're going to drag it all the way up to the timeline like so. And we're going to find our empty shot. So once you have your empty shot, you're going to drag that clip right here. Now we're going to bring in our lightning. This lighting pack was made by Film Learning and the other lighting pack was made by Night A Films. They have a free pack of lighting effects and that is super awesome. Go check out their channels, the links is in the description below. Now you want to change your lighting composite mode to screen, so that way we can see what we're doing. Okay, so now you want to make sure the lightning and the footage is lined up with each other. So now that you have your first clip lined up with the lightning right where the lightning starts, all you have to do is that you want to key over one frame and then you're going to cut your footage here. Drag it up and just slide the footage over until you're lined back up with the lightning. Okay, so you're going to take your first clip and go into the fusion tab. Alright, now that we have fusion open, you want to shape space and you want to grab a directional blur. Make sure it's the effects directional blur and not the other one. And you want to make sure the angle of the blur is going in the direction that the subject is running. Next, grab onto the directional blur. You want to attach a polygon and then just go ahead and key around your subject. It doesn't have to be perfect because it's going to be blurred out and the opacity is going to be lowered in a little bit. So just a nice key around it. Okay, so we're going to soften those edges up a little bit. And there we go. We got that one set up. On your first clip, you want to lower the opacity down to 75. On your second clip, 
you want to lower the opacity down to 85. And then, on your third clip, you want to lower the opacity to 95. Now, you're going to bring in your audio for the lighting effect into the timeline. Back on the Fusion tab, we're going to shift, space, and type in color corrector this time. You can change to any color you want. So for my case, I'm going to put my lightning color green. Or if you want to put two Speedstar lightning colors on your subject, it will look really cool. Let's take a look at our preview. That looks freaking awesome. Now we're going to export it to the render tab. Add to render queue, go to the downloads folder, press OK, and click render all. And for that, we are done. If you guys want to see some more Flash tutorials like this, leave your thoughts in the comments below. Anyways guys, thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed this tutorial, make sure to smash that like button, share this video with your friends, subscribe today to become a forever member, and I will see you guys next time.